I'm obsessed. Oh, please don't die. I love my fuzzy Crocs. I wish you could come, Freya, but you would pull me to my death. Welcome to today's vlog. I'm so excited because it has been like in the 70s today. 70s. So I'm getting ready to go roller skating with Allie and Cohen's gonna be joining us. It is just so freaking nice outside. We can't not do something. But today I've been working literally all day. It's like 5.30 p.m. and I'm finally done. So we're about to go have some fun. Yesterday for about an hour, Cohen and I sat in the hammock outside because it was also really nice. It's supposed to be super nice all week. So I'm trying to do something outside every single day. Allison and I went on a bike ride yesterday evening as well. That's my first ride of the season. And I'm just so excited that it's starting to get warm and spring is here and we get to go actually do things. Here is today's outfit. This is a little workout top from Old Navy. These are Fabletics like sweat shorts. <laughs> These are cycling socks. So they're like, I think they're Defeat or Bontrager. I have my little bag from Kind Bags and my Impala roller skates. I'm so excited to go do something fun outside. I wish you could come Freya, but you would pull me to my death. <laughs> I was roller skating with you. I'm wearing my fuzzy Crocs until we get there. Which Allison saw these last night and she was like, what the fuck are those? And I was like, these are my fuzzy Crocs. I don't know what you're talking about. And she was like, and you have gibbets on them? I was like, yes, it's a margarita. And then she laughed at me. I love my fuzzy Crocs. Wait, come over here. Oh, cause I'm like trying to like. Allie, yeah, got her skates a year ago today. Mine must have been around the same time though. Yeah, well, we remember right. I ordered mine after yours though. I yeah, think. yeah. I'm so excited. It literally feels so good outside. Ah. Cohen's riding my bike, even though it's too small for him. <laughs> and he doesn't have my special clip in shoes. No. Nope. And he's not wearing a helmet. Do none of the things that Cohen's doing. <laughs> the cyclist in me is like, no. <laughs> he's, a, he's a walking ocean violation. I know, literally. Yeah, his first little loop on my bike, he starts going and he's like, where are the brakes? <laughs> That's a good question. <laughs> you should have asked that before you took off. That's fair. You should have asked that before you started going. <laughs> Is this, this is our first ride of the season, right? It is, yeah. I Together. Around, yeah, because I was, like you say, I rode around the neighborhood a little bit and stuff like that, but. Yeah, I rode with Cohen and Bela, yep. but like, this is our first ride this season. Oh. We need to make this like a weekly thing. I was gonna At minimum. That, <laughs> like, literally, like, it would be so good. Volleyball is starting soon. If you guys remember, like last year we had a volleyball team with the Starbucks people, so it just starts in June. Look at you go. <laughs> oh, <shit. laughs> oh, please don't die. <laughs> Cohen trying to ride with no hands on his first time on a road bike <laughs> with no helmet. It's so nice. We've already passed like 72 dogs. <laughs> I know there's so many doggos. Walking Bela and I was skating while Cohen was walking and then he fell. I held her, her leash, but she just like pulled out and ran right to him and was just like, oh my god, Dad, are you okay? <laughs> baby, baby. <laughs> oh, Bela, she's going to get you. <laughs> Bela, daddy fell. <laughs> and then her poor paws are all bloody. Uh, yeah, she ended up hurting her paws because she kept like pulling to get to me. And oh, like she the was, like, scraping them on the pavement. Yeah, like so we had to carry her the rest of the way. Cohen tried to carry her. Yeah. She just cried the whole time in his arms. And so I was like, let me try. And then she, she didn't she cry. Wants to yeah, she wanted to like roll and like she was crying until I took her. Because she just wanted to roller skate. She, she was like, this is fun. She was literally like just like chilling in Marissa's arms. Yeah. Like just chilling. Just, just like, hanging out. In her face and everything. Yeah. She was living her best life. I'm so glad we brought water and not intentionally. I just forgot to take my water off my bike yesterday. So we have water. <laughs> Cause it's toasty. It's nice. It's not like toasty outside, but like when you're working. In the sun. In the sun. Oh, last time we were, I almost died. <laughs> I like, okay. Last time we rode, it was in like the fall. So like it was sunny, but it was cool. Meh. There's deer in here. Three of them. One, two, three. Oh, Cohen. Oh my gosh. Meh. What are you trying to do? Fucking go. I know, but what, you, what does the doe call do? Bring them to you? <laughs> then don't do it. Oh, there's four. There's five. I see one right here too. Where? Right here. Where? There's a bunch. There's right two more. Where? Right there. Where? There's, there's oh, I do. <gasps> this is so fucking cool. Oh my god, he's coming out of sight. Oh. Jesus Christ. Ah, oh, fucking cool. Oh my god. I see it. Oh, 
Oh, that was so cute. We just dropped Ali off. It was so freaking fun. Did you like my bike? Yeah, my ass hurts. You gotta wear padded shorts. And you just gotta like callus up. My seat bones hurt from my ride yesterday. I like how you said seat bones. That's what they're called. Oh, my ass. No, because... <laughs> it's, <not true. laughs> it's literally like, my butthole is hurting. Did, were you sticking the bike seat up it? Like I don't think so. <laughs> you don't think so? <laughs> but since it's still like nice, and I just love being outside and just doing stuff, and I have a gift card for ice cream, so we're going to Graders to get some ice cream. Because the night is not over, and Puppy is still down for a nap. So we're taking full advantage of our child being asleep, in true parent fashion. <laughs> I love a downtown setting when it's nice outside. We got salted caramel, both of us. It's so good. So good. We tried it first. Mm. Why do you use a little spoon? I like using the little spoon. It makes me feel big. And it makes me savor it more because I have to take tiny bites. We're going for another skate day and bike day. Okay. But hello and happy Friday, actually. I didn't vlog yesterday because I worked all day. Cohen got a bunch of my videos edited for me while I was at work yesterday. Helped me get caught up, which is awesome. So I finalized like three of them this morning. Got them scheduled to go live. Made the thumbnails. So we're trying to catch back up on everything. And I'm so excited to be posting videos again. I don't know, I'm tired. I feel like it is just that I'm hungry too. As soon as I finished making thumbnails, Cohen was like, I'm starving. <laughs> <laughs> so we're gonna go get Bibby Bop. But I feel not a lot of energy and I think it's because I'm hungry and I need coffee <laughs> baby bop and coffee is such a love language <laughs> I have been going a lot of places in my fuzzy crocs lately I'm not mad about it we got our baby bomb decided to bring it to the park that we're gonna ride at anyways in here Hello, hello, and happy Saturday. I just got off work from Starbucks, and Cohen was out driving around and texted me and said, hey, what is happening in Westerville? We don't live in Westerville. There's like tents everywhere. It looks like a farmer's market, right? So I Google it immediately, what's happening in Westerville. It is an art, like, pop-up shop kind of thing, and there's like over 30 vendors and 30 tents, and I don't know. I'm thinking like maker's market, but art. Don't really know what to expect, but it is so nice outside. It's almost like too nice. Like, we didn't get a spring. We went straight to summer. It is like 80s, but we're going to the art market today, and I'm so excited excited it's like the first little market of the season and Bela's coming Bela come here hi yeah so I want to show everybody me and my purple harness yeah, I look so cute this is Freya's harness actually it's a size medium and I was like might as well use it while we can while she's still small enough to fit it but it's wild one branded it's like the super cute purple one I have the matching purple leash and the matching purple bag however I thought this black bag looked better with my colors at least so I'm not like matching the bag today but Freya wears a medium and harnesses Bela's going to end up probably wearing a large because she's gonna be a big girl so we're just gonna use this one today or until obviously she grows out of them because since this is Bela's first market I I just don't know how she's gonna do if she's gonna like behave I'm assuming she's gonna get really excited and want to jump on people and so we're gonna use this obviously as a training opportunity but I want her in a harness so I can have her front clipping that way hopefully we diminish a lot of like pulling and whatnot we will see I know this isn't the dog channel but I thought I would talk about it a little bit and obviously take y'all along with me I can't get my shoes on Cohen got dressed for the market Ooh. Say, Dad, look at me in my purple harness. I know, it's so good. You look adorable. I think Freya's jelly. Oh, I know. We're going to take you to the next one, okay? We just want to take Sissy for her first one by herself. See how she does before we do both dogs. Because I feel like our hands would be full with both of them. <laughs> <laughs> Freya will still be going to farmer's markets this year. I do not want anybody thinking that Bela's gonna be going and Freya's not gonna be going. Freya will be going, okay? We're gonna either have to switch on and off or obviously there's two of us, so both of us can take the dogs. We'll do a lot of training to like prep for that. But for today, we're just gonna start with Bela to make sure that she like is good before we try to take both. Up, up. Coming. Mm. Oh, oh, good, good girl. girl. Ooh, it's hot. You have the time of your life every single night. The confetti's raining down. 
You put your hands to the sky, center of the crowd, you're the talk of the town. And I tell myself I don't want that, what glitters sink gold. I tell myself I don't need it, cause I'm fine on my own. But I hate being on the outside, looking through a window. I say I don't want it, but I'm so full of it. I wanna be the life of the party I wanna dance with somebody be We just got back from the farmer's market and Miss Bela did so good! This isn't the doggo channel so I won't like bore you with all the details but she did good. She greeted everybody nicely. She's really bad with jumping on people right now but she did so good. Even with like little kiddos that wanted to come up and say hi. Amazing. So proud of her. Come on, got a shirt. Has a little pocket and a camel on it and then this. He's wearing it with, you got back up, the orange shorts because it matches. Ugh. And then I got these cute little earrings. I'm obsessed. I got two pairs. First pair being these blue gummy bears. I think they're so freaking cute. And then I got these cute green little mushroom earrings. I'm obsessed. But Bayla's first farmer's market was definitely a success. And just the first little maker's market, art hop is what it was called. But just the first farmer's market or maker's market kind of thing of the season, definitely a success. I'm so excited for more. I feel like today's been so good, like a mini little date day. I feel like all week we've had like little date days. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited. I love spring and summer. Ugh. Hello, hello. It is the next day. Cohen and I just made some coffee for the day. And I think we are finally hanging our first piece of quote unquote decoration in the apartment because we need to get my bike up off the floor. <laughs> so we're hanging the bike on the wall. Something that I thought I would never say. And I know that makes me hypocrite because if y'all have been around in 2020, I once had to have a bike in my living room hanging on the wall and I absolutely hated it. And here we are doing it again. We need to finalize a wall that it's gonna go on. We move the TV to the bedroom. <laughs> so that's why that looks empty. Probably not gonna on that one because the TV goes here. We have this wall, which is above Kitty's litter box. I, definitely sizable. We could do it here. Or we have the office above Cohen's desk. <laughs> <No>. <laughs> I'm gonna put it on the side right there. It, it's not gonna go on the side, baby. Look how big my bike is. Yeah, why wouldn't it? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? What do you mean? Bang. Baby, that's not how it's going on the wall. It's going like flat on the wall. What? Like this, just on the wall. Like a fucking trophy? Like it just sits on the wall like that? Yeah. <laughs> so where do you want it? <laughs> I think it's absolutely cringy and disgusting as well. I don't want it hung on our walls. But where else are we going to put it? So it's just going to be right there. Yep. Okay. Just on the wall. Yeah, so it's literally just going to go right up there. Okay. All right, let's do it. We got one screw in people. We have like <laughs> one and a half holes that we made in the wall to get there, but we got it. Second one going in. Oh. Perfect. I don't know, that's terrifying. Why? I just feel like it's gonna fall. Bela is up from her nap. <laughs> Ray is very excited. The one thing that I was talking to Cohen about though is I was about to say, Bela likes to sit in this chair and I'm waiting for her to notice that there's a bike above her and we'll have to teach her not to chew on my tires. She said, I don't know what's happening. I don't, oh, uh-uh, <laughs> already. We don't touch the bike. Sorry, we do no. need to go to the pet store to get Bela more food because it's dinner time and she literally has Nothing. <laughs> Not a single morsel. Fry is good. Bailey, you got no food. No dinner for you. We got new Tritos for the doggos. We got from Crunchy as I like the like the from brand. This is pot roast punchers flavor. And then we got slam and smoked salmon. Nice only gentle one. Taking after her big sissy. Going to her bed. Yeah. Whenever she hears food. Good girl. 
I tried something new and fun the last time we went grocery shopping, which was yesterday, where I did not plan my meals, actually. We just went into Aldi and got things that looked good. And then when I got home, I wrote down in list form of all the dinners that we ended up buying and all the lunches that we ended up buying and even snacks, because sometimes things deep in the fridge we forget about or chips in the back cabinet or something. So I wrote down everything that we have. That way, if we're ever hungry, we can just walk up to the fridge and say, hey, I want a snack. Here's what we got. And obviously we erase it as we finish it. So for tonight, for dinner, we just decided on tortellini. Do you want it with Alfredo sauce or pasta sauce? Because we have both. Alfredo. Yum. What I'm also doing though is writing everything that we have in black marker and then anything that we have leftovers in blue. So that way we try to eat those first so that way they don't go bad. And just so we know we have it. Again, we put something in a Tupperware container and then it gets lost in the fridge for like a month and nobody remembers it's there. And then we end up having to throw it away because it's gone bad and whatnot. So I don't know. This is what I thought to do. I like it so far. But for tonight, we're having tortellini and Alfredo sauce. And I'm really excited because I love tortellini. We have the Priano four cheese Alfredo sauce, which is what we're using. And then the Priano cheese tortellini, both from Aldi. Since we moved the TV into the bedroom, we're eating in the office together so we can watch at least a YouTube video. But we have green beans. I freaking love green beans. And then our tortellini with some Alfredo sauce. Does it look good? Mm -hmm. We are obsessed with watching Cody Ko's like button videos. Oh, where are the tripods? <laughs> oh my goodness. Literally, what do I see in the background of his video? Oh, a Trek bike. Cody Ko rides a Trek. You heard it here first. Naya, come on. Let's go to bed. Are you ready for tomorrow? Yeah. You're so excited? Yeah. In case y'all didn't know, I did say something on Instagram. If you don't follow me there, you don't know. We have some new additions to the bedroom and whatnot. In less than a week now, we will be traveling to Cleveland because Cohen has top surgery next Monday, April 24th. Not sure when you guys are seeing this vlog, if it's already happened yet or not. April 24th is a big day. Mm -hmm. We are so freaking excited. So we're prepping. Tomorrow is his pre-op appointment. A couple of them actually. So we have to go up to Cleveland, get all prepared and whatnot for that. So I'm going to end this vlog here because the next vlog will just be kind of like a snippet of all of that. Cohen's also going to be vlogging too. I'm trying to get him to get his ish together to start his own channel. In case you guys wanted to read more about like Cohen's story until he starts his own YouTube channel and potentially help offset some of the costs for top surgery and donate and whatnot, I will link his GoFundMe down below. It definitely tells a little bit more about him and why this is so important and exciting at the same time. Yeah, I will link that down below. But I hope you guys enjoyed this week's vlog. I feel like we did some good stuff this week. I'm so excited for spring and summer to just like actually hit. I'm ready for our weekly rides to start. I'm ready for farmers markets i'm ready for absolutely everything we are headed to bed we have to be up bright and early tomorrow huh i love you guys so much you want to do it with me i love you guys so much more than you'll ever know and i'll see you in the next video bye, bye. <laughs>